Hi, this is Michelle again. Uh, this video talks about why you should use RefWorks and why it will save you a ton of time. So this is the RefWorks login page um, because I know you'll all want to sign up after I'm done this video. You can sign up for a new account at the link the arrow is pointing to. So I'm just going to sign in using my username and password that I created and log in. So this is what my account looks like. I've taken citations that I found in databases that I want to keep and just imported them into this database. So now I can um, have a record of what I found. The nice thing about RefWorks and what I was just showing there is the Get It at Memorial button is included. So like I was talking about previously in the full text video, you can just click on that button to access um, the full text of the article. You can also organize your citations in folders. So here I've got a folder called Summon Test that I was um, using. You can also generate bibliographies, which is the thing that most students are like, wow, that's amazing. So when I say create bibliography for this folder, it just spits out the citation for the article. You have to be a little bit careful, make sure that it's correct, but it's usually pretty good. So what I'm showing now is a little plug-in program that you download to your computer called Write Insight. And this will connect Microsoft Word into your RefWorks account. So as you're going along, you can take things in your reference account and just insert the citation right into your paper, which is really cool. So then you can continue to add citations from that reference account that you've created. Oops. So now I'm clicking on insert citation. Here's another one. That's pretty cool. So I'll insert that one. You can just keep writing and inserting citations as you go. And at the end, when you're all done writing and you've inserted all the citations, you can generate a bibliography with all of the citations that you've used in your paper. So I'm going to put one more in and then I'm going to generate a bibliography. So right now I just told it to generate a bibliography in APA 6 and it just did that automatically. 